To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to add text to. Let's begin by positioning the time marker on the timeline to where you want to start showing your text. Click the split button to make a cut at the time marker's position. Then move the time marker to where you want your text to stop showing. Click the split button again to make another cut. Now position the time marker over the clip you just cut out and make sure it's selected. Then click the filters button up here. In the filter section, click the add button. Then in the search box, type text. Click the text simple option to add it to your video clip. Okay, now in the text box, delete the time code and type your desired text. Next, go ahead and check the use font size checkbox so that you can adjust its size. Then click the button with your font on it. I recommend moving the font pop-up to the side so that you can see your font change as you adjust it. In the pop-up, you can change your font to whatever you want. You can also change its size, but the preset sizes are a little small, so you're probably going to want to type in a larger size manually. Alright, once you're done in here, just hit OK. You can change the font color or the font's outline color by clicking the color box next to it to open up the color picker pop-up. Select either a preset color or select one from the color range. You can change how light or dark a color is by using this bar on the side. If you don't want an outline for your text, be sure to set its thickness to zero. You can also give your text a background color if you want, but remember to set the alpha channel to 255 because by default, the alpha channel is set to zeros for no background. Use a number lower than 255 for the alpha channel to give your background less opacity. I'm going to change the alpha channel back to zeros though because I don't like how this looks. It's kind of annoying, but you can't use the Ctrl Z keyboard shortcut to undo filter changes. If you do use Ctrl Z, it will just undo your timeline edits like your splits. Now to change the position of your text, you can use the horizontal and vertical fit buttons to adjust its position in the frame. These are especially useful for centering your text. You can also change the text position simply by dragging the circle in the middle of the frame. Keep in mind that this will move the entire frame for your text, so using the fit buttons likely won't be useful anymore since they adjust the text position based on the frame's position. And you can also change the frame size by dragging the frame's quarter handles. This is an easy way to change your text size if you're not worried about centering it later with the fit buttons. Okay, one last thing you can play around with is the text presets. These are useful if you want an easy text template like lower thirds or a simple animation. Just keep in mind that you want to set up your preset before anything else because any other changes that you made to your text will be undone. You can, however, make changes to your text once the preset is applied. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.